Lovers, there's a lot going on right now and I can barely keep up. Taylor's Spotify canvases are changing. Nice Boy Ed's Spotify canvases are changing. Is Nice Boy Ed a super group? Does it have something to do with Taylor's 1989? It definitely has something to do with Taylor Swift. But check this out, check this out. My friend Stephanie reminded me of this interview here. This cryptic ass interview on Stephen Colbert where she has the finger on the pizza the whole time and there's tons of clues for 1989. This was when she was um, promoting Fearless, Taylor's version. 513 was mentioned twice in this interview. We thought we were getting 89 on 513 because it was the only Friday the 13th, okay? But we did not that year. Remember 513 and everyone was upset? I think it might be the order of her re-records. 1989 debut, Speak Now. I'm coming back to that interview. Hold on a second. Now, we're getting Moonlight from Nice Boy Ed on Friday, which could be a song or it could be an album or it could have something to do with all four of Taylor's re-records or 1989. We don't really know. However, if it's released at midnight UK time, It'll be released on the East Coast when she's in Tampa about 7 p.m. So when she gets on stage, she can talk about it. She can tell us who Nice Boy Ed is if she wants to at that time. But either way, April 13th is very important. It's one of the only Thursdays that she is on tour, and I've, I've talked about this a lot, how I do think something is happening that night. Like I said before, I'm leaning toward 1989 Taylor's version. But today on Ted Zar's TikTok, Ed Sheeran said he, I moonlight as a singer, which means to moonlight is to have a second job at night. But in the beginning of this video on TikTok, he says he's a singer already. So I'm starting to think Ed Sheeran is more involved with Nice Boy Ed than we think. I mean, he literally says the track name right there, Moonlight. Back to this and why am I freaking out about this interview with Stephen Colbert. Not only did it have a million clues for 1989, go back and watch it. Guess what date it was? April 13th, 2021. This interview happened April 13th, 2021. She's been planning this out for two years now. Let's go.